Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Tina. I hope you guys are doing good today. Yes, I know it's been a few days since you guys have seen me, but like I posted on Instagram when I was leaving LA the other day, my shuttle bus got into a really bad accident. We were hit from behind. Honey, I went flying. There was a little baby on the bus. She went flying out her mother's arms. And I've just been really, really sore the past few days. I've been like on heavy pain medicine, just trying to get better. It's just, it's been a whole bunch of mess, okay? But I finally feel okay, okay? I got dressed, did my damn hair, and decided to come out here and spill some tea for you guys. I'm going to be dropping videos back to back. Yes, honey, just call me the, you know, untainted version of Drake, okay? Anyhow, so I also want to let you guys know before I forget, I have some more on-the-go tea bottles. They came the other day, so if you guys are interested in purchasing one, you guys can go straight to my website. We have about 40 of each color. Once they're sold out, they're sold out, and I have to get more. They cost a lot to ship here, so I can only get so many at a time, okay? I, I don't have a warehouse in my backyard, so there's only so many that I can buy at a time, but definitely feel free to grab one. The tea will be here officially in two weeks. All of the orders have been placed. They will be on Amazon in two weeks. So we've been working hard behind the scenes to get everything together. We have a lot of bags, a lot of products. So you guys will definitely enjoy this. So we have the new men's tea line. It finally came the other day. I got a chance to sample it. And right now I'm praying that I don't wake up one day and have a penis, okay? <laughs> but if I did, I'm here for it, bitch. <laughs> Okay, let me stop, but it's a really good tea for men. Um, it has a sweet taste. You guys will definitely love it. The boys like it. They've been my test subjects, and a few of my homeboys have tried it as well. So I'm super excited for everything to relaunch in two weeks. But again, if you didn't get a chance to get an on-the-go tea bottle, definitely make sure you go on to lovelytea.net and go grab your bottle while they are available, okay? So thank you all who have made purchases, and thank you to everybody who's been supporting my tea line. So I wanted to come on here, y'all, okay, and spill some damn coffee. Party BT for the Barty gang. So as you guys all know, I was out in LA for BT weekend. I got a chance to live tweet and Instagram with you guys while watching the show. The entire BET Awards was very, very interesting, okay? So Cardi B ended up winning Best Female Artist. She beat out Nicki Minaj, Remy Ma, Raspity, and Dej Loaf, okay? So Cardi B won. She wasn't able to be there because she's very, very pregnant. And this is what she had to say. Go ahead and check this out. Hey, y'all, what's poppin'? I'm sorry I couldn't attend the BET Awards this year, but you know, I'm really, really close to my deadline. Um... I want to say thank you to all my fans for voting for me for the Coca-Cola Viewers Choice Awards. I love you, Barty Gang, 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 gang. And for the Best Hip Hop Female Artist Award, thank you so much. You know, female rappers really get it the hardest when it comes to the music industry. We always getting blamed because of our raunchy lyrics and the way that we raunchy, the, our raunchy outfits and shit. You know, practically doing the same shit that the niggas do, but you know, we get blamed the most for it. We constantly getting, we constantly getting threatened by people like, oh, you're not gonna make it next year. You're not gonna make it next year. So we always gotta keep up, keep up, and keep up. Always putting female rappers against each other. And as you know, I'm just really grateful for winning the award because female artists be going through some fucking shit. Thank you, everybody, and God bless you. And All right, so you guys just saw what Cardi B had to say. So during that night, the Migos won for best group. So what happened is once they went up there to go get their award, Offset basically sent a shout out to his wife. So the whole audience was like, wife? Okay, we thought that was your baby's mother. Of course, the internet started digging. Of course, TMZ started digging. And they found a marriage certificate for Cardi B and Offset that dates back to September of this year. So that means that when they got married, when they did that whole proposal on stage, Everything was fake as fuck, okay? But what kind of bothered me with this whole situation? I understand them not wanting people in their business, but I really didn't like Cardi B's response. She basically tried to go off on the fans and accuse us of being damn nosy. Um, excuse me, it was your damn husband slash baby daddy who spilled the tea. Nobody would have went digging had he not got on stage and ran his mouth talking about shout out to my wife, okay? We thank y'all. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I thank my wife. You should thank yours that way. I want to go ahead and read to you guys what Cardi B had to say about the situation. Check this out. So Cardi B says, this is why I named my album Invasion of Privacy. Because people will do the most to be nosy with your life. Well, fuck it. 
Then she goes on to say, there are so many moments that I share with the world. Then there are moments that I want to keep to myself. Getting married was one of those moments. Our relationship was so new, breaking up, making up, and we had a lot of growing up to do. But we were so in love, we didn't want to lose each other. Was one morning, that's exactly what she wrote. She wrote, was one morning. (laughs) One morning in September, we woke up and decided to get married. We found someone to marry us, and she did. Just the two of us and my cousin. I said I do with no dress, no makeup, no ring. I appreciate and love my husband so much for still wanting for me to have that special moment that every girl dreams of when he got down on one knee and put a ring on my finger. He did that for me. Well, now, since y'all little nosy fucks know, at least you can stop saying I had a baby out of wedlock. All right, so you guys just heard me read that response from Cardi B. First of all, sis, I'm kind of disappointed. Now, granted, yes, we're nosy as hell, myself included. But my thing is, why even fake it? You know, she could have been, came out and said that she was married. It wouldn't have been a big deal. You know, so that's, it just goes to show you how fake these people in Hollywood are. She claims to be so real and so, you know, 100% and all this other shit. But you literally had this guy propose to you a month after you guys were married. You know, and you knew what that would cost for the end. Internet. You knew you guys would trend. This would be on, you know, this would be a major story. Everybody talked about this. You know, she was freaking out and, and, you know, going crazy about the engagement. Knowing damn well she was already married. Go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw that flashback clip. So, like I said before, I don't understand why she's mad at the fans and calling everybody nosy when it was her husband who let the cat out the bag when he caught her wife on stage. Had he not said that, nobody would have went checking for anything, okay? But you know what? This is the true tea, okay? Let me keep it all the way 100. First and foremost, the reason why they hurt up and got married, because I can do math, she was obviously pregnant, okay? She can say that, you know, we just woke up one day and we just wanted to get married, you know what I'm saying? He loves me, Kerr, and all that other bullshit she be doing, all the little noises that she be making. She can say what she wants to say, but the reason why they really got married is because, let's not forget, she's due in July, okay? She's due any day now. She got married nine months ago. It takes about 40 weeks for a baby to fully, you know, cultivate and develop from start to finish. The reason why they got married is because Cardi B was knocked up okay and she didn't want any more bad press people going in on her people already saying that she's ratchet get on whatever else and her you know getting pregnant that quick by offset was a bad look and then the fact that he was cheating on her while pregnant was also a bad look and one of her fans caught her out on this and Cardi B had the nerve to get upset and drag other cheaters into the damn mix go ahead and check this out so this person named white boy spam says so they married and he still cheated okay sis Then Cardi B comes back and she says, at white boy spam. And so did Martin Luther King, Kobe, Jay-Z, and Clinton. And most likely your father. But guess what? We worked things out. We grew. About to have a baby. Purchasing a home together. Shit happens. So that was Cardi B's response to somebody calling her out like, okay, this is even worse than we suspected. This man was cheating on you the whole time y'all was married and you were pregnant. And of course, she tried to deflect by bringing in a bunch of other cheaters like Martin Luther King and Jay-Z and Kobe and everybody else. But she is right. You know, a lot of guys out here cheat. Like I've always told you guys, it is what it is. And it's up to you if you want to still stay with that person and work it out. She's obviously chosen to stay with Offset. They're trying to work it out. They're buying a home together. And I wish her nothing but the best but sis stop deflecting okay stop trying to drag martin luther king into y'all's fuckery okay offset is no martin luther king anyhow in other cardi b news she did have a beautiful baby shower the other day it was called a bronx fairy tale baby shower and when i tell you her and offset they spared no expense they had a little mini bodega they had ices they had carts i mean it looked like a lit version of the bronx It was so dope and beautiful. A lot of celebrities came out to support them. A lot of reality TV show people. So I want to go ahead and show you guys these pictures and these videos from her baby shower. Go ahead and check this out.
All right, so you guys just saw the video on the pictures from her baby shower. So once again, congratulations to Cardi B. Like I said, if she likes it, I love it. She wants to stay with Offset. She's married to Offset. I wish them nothing but the best. Hopefully he stops cheating on her and he ends up being a good father to her and this baby. She's due any day now, so I'm very excited for her to give birth. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, once again, concerning Cardi B. Basically going off on folks once they found out that she was truly married to Offset. Do you feel like it was very wrong of her and Offset to do that whole proposal, knowing that they were already married? And then do you agree with me that the reason why they got married so quickly is the fact that she was pregnant? And then also... Also, how do you feel about her response to everybody, how she's going off on folks and saying, you know, basically since Martin Luther King and Jay-Z and Kobe cheated, oh, well, you know what I'm saying? Offset made a mistake and she's taking them back. And then last but not least, let me know what you guys think about her beautiful baby shower. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, Definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.